Hello, I'm Teresa Thomas, about to be on the Dr. Walter Sims Show with Senator Harry Ann Smith to talk about the Wiregrass Kidney Walk and Run. For all of your health care needs, go to Health Concepts, located at 1901 Wise Drive here in Dothan, Alabama. Their hours are Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. And on Saturdays from 10 o'clock a.m. to 1 o'clock p.m. And they're closed on Sunday. Listen, when you get over there, when you go get some of that alkaline water, the best water in the wild grass, will you please tell them Dr. Sims sent you? I'm Jessica. I was going to let everybody know that we all love the Dr. Walter Sim Show. For all your family dentistry needs, go see my friends over at Dantridge Dental Family Dentistry. Dr. Michelle Dandridge and Stella Ferry will be glad to service you. They are located at 1435 Ross Clark Circle, Suite A, here in Dothan, Alabama. They're located on the south side of the circle near Southern Bone and Joint. You can call them at 334-699-2220. And when you get there, tell them Dr. Sims. First, we'd like to thank Dr. Walter Sims for allowing us to come on his show today to talk about the 2016 annual Wiregrass Kidney Walk and Run. And with us today is none other than our great state senator, Harry Ann Smith, who is the honorary chair of this popular event. Teresa, thanks, and um, Dr. Sims, thanks for allowing us to be on the show today. You know, this is an issue that's near and dear to my heart, and it's near and dear to Teresa's heart, too. Um, we're just some Slocum girls who kind of understand um, what kidney disease has done to a lot of our friends and relatives in the community. And Teresa has agreed this year to serve and help me with this event and serve as the chairman. So thanks, Teresa, for doing this. And I guess to kind of get started, I want to let you guys know why this is so important and why we need your help. And, and I'm asking for your help. Um, you know, there's a lot of walks in, 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 in our area, a lot of diseases that we have in our area, but, but kidney disease is one of those that kind of gets overlooked. And there are over 3,000, um, I guess, citizens in Alabama who are suffering with kidney disease and we have a lot of those in our area and as your state senator one of the calls that i get most often are from families of people who have um, relatives who have kidney disease and and a lot of people don't realize that people with kidney disease have to do this treatment called dialysis normally that's that takes up um, three days of their life three days a week they have to travel to one of the great um, dialysis facilities in our area um, to get this life-saving treatment. And without that treatment, um, it, it, like I said, it's life-saving. Well, if you've got to travel three days a week and sit and have dialysis, your time to work is very limited. And there are a lot of families who are able to help their relatives and manage this, but there are those folks in our community who their family has to work, and they don't have people who can take them to this treatment process. And so I get calls saying, look, I'm having a really hard time um, with, with trying to find somebody to take me to dialysis. And so what the Alabama Kidney Foundation does here locally is through the social workers at the dialysis clinics, they offer um, solutions for those patients. And those solutions can be in the form of, of of helping them pay for a transportation service, for a taxi, or even paying a relative or a family member or a friend, a neighbor, to bring them to their dialysis. Also, sometimes you have those patients that just kind of get in a little, um, have go through a hard time and need a little extra help with maybe groceries or maybe with their light bill. And these funds that we're gonna be raising stays locally to help those families and those individuals who might fall on a hard time 
while they're going through this uh, dialysis treatment. And something you should know, this dialysis treatment for some is, this is life. This is, this is, this is, this doesn't end. Um, you know, we hope and pray that some people come off dialysis, but a lot of people don't. And it, it just wears on a family. And that's why, you know, churches have stepped up and helped families. We're, you know, we're proud of these family members who help families. But at some point, funds like this that we're going to be raising locally here, that are going to stay here locally, um, are going to help these people. And Teresa, I know that you and I have a, Teresa and I are sisters for all of you who don't know. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> we're sisters. Um, we have a, um, that we can just name people in our community right. that, that, that we've worked with, um, have, have personal experiences, and I'm going to let her talk about a special person that was near and dear to both of our hearts and okay. what that was in her family, my family, that, um, that, that had these issues. Okay, uh, one was uh, my Aunt Frankie Whitehurst. She's an aunt of ours, and she passed away with kidney disease. And I tell you, it was just a sad thing to know that she had to go for treatments three times a week. And sometimes it was difficult for her to even get a ride to the dialysis clinic. And then we have, of course, the precious Margaret Carroll, who we loved so dearly as well. And then we have another dear friend of mine, a special friend of mine. His name is Herman Beverett Jr., who also had kidney disease. But um, some people go into the clinic, some do the peritoneal, it's called when they do it from home. But anyway, it's still kidney disease, no matter where the treatments are being, you know, done. But we just ask that people come out and donate for this very good cause. And as, as Senator Smith said, the money stays local. And that's what's so important about this particular kidney run and walk. It's not going off to the national uh, research company or anything like that. It stays local and it will be dispersed by the social workers at the various dialysis clinics. And keep in mind that kidney disease ranks fifth in the nation. And so it's, it's very high on the list and people don't realize it like Senator Smith uh, mentioned. But we just want to encourage everyone to come out on April 16th. That's at Westgate Park. And listen, um, I think most everybody out there knows someone who's, who's suffered with kidney disease and you've helped somebody. But what we're going to do this day um, on April 16th, we're going to come together and celebrate the lives of those who are suffering with the, this disease. A lot of the kidney patients are involved in this walk. And this is how we're going to, to raise money for this fund to help. Um, other individuals is we're going to have a 5k run on April 16th and we're going to have a walk and we're going to you can help in several ways you can contact the number that we're going to provide you um, on the screen um, Miss Lisa and you can actually form a team you can call Miss Lisa and you can come, you can get your own team and um, form a team and come walk with me <laughs> and Teresa and, and with the other um, kidney patients um, who are going to be involved in this um, celebration of their lives or you can be a corporate sponsor and I know a lot of you businesses out there want to help in your community and this is a way to help people that work for you their families are suffering we need you to be a corporate sponsor and, and that information can be provided to you also this is all about us raising some money that's going to stay here local to help our people so again we're just asking for your support and help to help our people here in the wiregrass who are suffering with this disease and we appreciate your consideration for doing this. And thanks, Teresa, um, for, for chairing this and being a contact. And we're, we're, we're looking for a good time on Saturday the 16th, walking with our friends and walking for our friends and helping our friends. And we do want everybody to know that it starts at 8 a.m. That's registration. So we want you to get there at 8 o'clock that morning and help us help others. For all of your dry cleaning needs, go see my friends at Penny Profit Dry Cleaner located at 246 Westgate Parkway here in Dothan, Alabama. They're open Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 7 o'clock p.m. And Saturdays, they close a little bit early at 4 o'clock p.m. And if you get your clothes in by 9 o'clock a.m., they will have them ready at 5 p.m. the same day. If you need to call them, you can dial them up at 334-671-4559. And listen, and when you see Sam, tell him, Dr. Sam sent you. 
Hi guys, I'd just like to thank everyone for listening to Harry Ann Smith and myself talk about the Wiregrass Kidney Walk and Run. Again, it's being held on Saturday, April 16th at 8 a.m. at Westgate Park. And if you'd like to be a part of this great event, please call one of the numbers at the bottom of your screen. Again, we say thank you. y'all this is now Lawrence walker davis i am here on location at beauty obsession we're about to do a live interview with miss courtney fuellen y'all stay put don't go nowhere now the dr walter sam show is moving to sunday mornings at 7 30 a.m central standard time on fox 34. when is this gonna happen it's gonna happen on sunday morning april the 3rd at 7 30 a.m central standard time tell your friends tell your neighbors to tune in Every Sunday morning, 7.30 a.m. here on Fox 34. Hey y'all, I'm Nalance Walker Davis. I am here with Miss Courtney Fu Ellen here at Beauty Obsession. What's up, Wiregrass? How y'all doing? How are you, Miss Courtney? I'm great. I'm great. How are you? I am good. So how long have you been at this? This is the new location, right? New location. New mm -hmm. location. How long have you been here? I've actually been in this location since February. We, mm -hmm. opened, we opened up actually end of January. Mm -hmm. End of January. Oh, wow. January. So how long have you been doing hair? Is, Ooh, okay, so you know we have to go all the way back. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Okay. Since I was 13 years old, I've mm -hmm. been doing hair. I started out braiding, mm -hmm. and um, it just kind of progressed, mm -hmm. and um, I just made it official. I went probably when I was about 22 Okay. to go towards getting my, uh, no, it was 26. 26? 26. Okay. 26. I know that's a big leap, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so how many... Um, stylist do you have here in the salon with you? I have two. Um, I have a stylist and I have a barber. Mm -hmm. um, Santana Andrews okay. and Sarge um, Tinerial Jones. We call okay. him Sarge. Mm -hmm. He's our barber and she's oh, wow. our other stylist. So okay. and I'm loving it. They actually started when we, um, when we re relocated to this location. Okay. So do you just do Children's hair, adults, men. You have you have your barber. You do men mm -hmm. haircuts, Man, haircuts, women. What all do you all offer here? Everything cosmetic. Okay. Everything cosmetic. We have a makeup station. Mm -hmm. um, we have we do um, extensions, mm -hmm. relaxers, perms. We are multicultural um, establishment, so mm -hmm. we do all all genres, all types okay. of people, all wow. kids, grandmothers, mm -hmm. <laughs> grandfathers. Mm -hmm. All of it. Okay, and what are your hours that uh, you're open? We, we actually work um, by appointment because we have so many different um, guests. that when we, we don't call our people clients. We call them guests. I like that. And so we like have so that. many different guests that we um, have coming in that we really kind of work by appointment. Mm -hmm. But our operating hours are Monday through Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, there are times that we're here on Sundays. Okay. Um, there are times that we're here at nine o'clock at night so we don't have any there's no limitations at beauty obsession right no limitations and when i talk about miss courtney fuellen she's not only a salon owner she's an entrepreneur you have a non-profit you blog you do yes. all sorts of, you wear yes. many hats yes so let's talk about yes. some of those other things that you do besides the salon because we're not just here to talk about the salon today because mm -hmm. this lady right here let me tell you <laughs> she's a busy woman of god let's talk about what you want to talk about first the blog let's talk about the blog well, I have to say this first, okay? Um, because I feel like you have to have a strong foundation. Mm -hmm. I would be remiss if I didn't mention where I um, developed all of my crafts, which okay. was Destiny Church. I'm a member at Destiny Church, mm -hmm. and Shout I work out to at Destiny. Destiny Church. Yeah, Pastor Javon Good. Pastor Javon Good, and mm -hmm. I am. Um, I'm assistant to Executive Pastor Tiffany Hollis in okay. administration. Okay. So I feel like anything that you do in life, you have to have a strong foundation mm -hmm. and you have to begin somewhere. And when you start, you know, you have to have somewhere that's going to really keep you rooted and grounded. It builds your character and integrity. So that I would be so remiss true. if I didn't mention mm -hmm. that first. Mm -hmm. um, 
And you're also mother of three, am mother I correct? Mother of three, yes. Oh, wow. How do you yes. stay balanced with all that? I know you talk Ooh. about your strong foundation, your church family. How do you just stay balanced Balanced with three it children? Takes mm -hmm. It takes a village. Mm -hmm. It takes a village. It takes a village. I can't even say that I do it all by myself. Mm -hmm. But um, my son is 16. I had him at age 15, and that's a story for another day. Okay. But that will tie into the aspect of the nonprofit organization. Okay. And why it's such a huge passion in my heart. Mm -hmm. um, so I have three and I, like I said it takes a it takes a village I have people that help me mm -hmm. with transportation and stuff but for the most part I kind of handle everything myself and I don't wow. know how it awesome. has to be the grace awesome. the grace of God awesome. <laughs> Yes, I, I know as a mother of three myself that yes. it is a job. Girl, you That's rock. First yes, job. ma'am. <laughs> you know, you rock too, girl. We rock together. How we about rock, that? Let's rock together, yes. But, uh, yeah, so let's talk about your nonprofit. Okay. Um, Big Sister with a Beauty Obsession. Mm -hmm. Of course, this is Beauty Obsession, and it was birthed from Beauty Obsession because Beauty Obsession is not just a salon. Mm -hmm. It is a place where people come. Um, no matter what they're dealing with, what they're going through. And the goal is to encourage them to find their inner beauty. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. start from the inside out. So it's mm -hmm. not just about cosmetics uh, mm -hmm. or I'm not giving them any plugs. Now. I ain't going to call no, no cosmetics. Okay. Like, okay. <laughs> let's let's write checks now. Wait a minute. <laughs> but we can put it out there, though, since you're talking about cosmetics. I'm speaking it now. Speak Be on it. the lookout for Miss Courtney's own line of cosmetic products. I'm just saying. Now, you in the spirit. I, I, I'm she just, in the I'm, spirit. I'm just saying. I'm just speaking. I'm putting you it are. out there because I see it. Beauty obsession. I see it. I'm working on it. <laughs> wow. Actually, awesome. I've actually contacted a chemist. Oh wow! Yes, mm. I'm working so on it. So y'all be looking for Miss Courtney Fuellen's line of makeup. Yes, yes thank girl. You, love. Yes, thank girl. you. I'm gonna have to get some of them. Yes. All right, all right. <laughs> um, <laughs> but the nonprofit was, mm -hmm. was Big Sister with a Beauty Obsession. Um, it's designed for preventative measures, mm -hmm. um, whether it is high school dropout, okay, preventative measures for teen pregnancy, mm -hmm. whatever it is. The goal is to have a common a common place that these kids can meet mm -hmm. and talk. Because p kids don't like to talk to their parents sometimes. That's true. But I have a grace and an anointing for whatever reasons. The kids just come tell me all this stuff. And it's hard because I'm like, I got to tell your mama mm -hmm. what's going on. Because mm -hmm. this is serious stuff. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times we're able to redirect before it goes too far. Um, I have several kids that I have, like, we've stopped it before it got too far. So my whole goal is to pr have preventative measures put in place for those, for those teens. All right, well, we're going to go to a break and we're going to come back and we're going to talk more about all of the services that you offer here as well as your blog. So stay right there. We'll be back. Don't forget to watch the Dr. Walter Sims Show every Sunday morning at 7.30 a.m. Central Standard Time on Fox 34. And we're back here with Miss Courtney Fu Ellen here at Beauty Obsession. Now we've talked about your nonprofit organization. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about your blog. Is it called Let's Talk Relationship? Yes, Let's Talk Relationship One on One. Okay. And it's a blog slash vlog. Mm -hmm. And um, what we do is I have Periscope mm -hmm. um, under Favor Favored Gal eighty four. Okay. And um, I also have Let's Talk Relationship 101 mm -hmm. um, vlog as well. Okay. I, I, for Periscope, I use both of them for Let's Talk Relationship 101. Okay. Um, it is a group that I started on Facebook. This That group was actually birthed out of, I have a lot of people that call me for mm -hmm. relationship advice. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. But a lot of people call me for relationship advice. Mm -hmm. And so I'm because I've opened the salon and I've mm -hmm. started all these different things, I don't have time to talk on the phone right. all the time. I get that. So I figure, well, what if I create a, what, an avenue for them to get the encouragement or mm -hmm. whatever, and then we can talk about it on a weekly basis. Right. And, or they can go back and look at some vlogs and stuff. Because I'm telling you, after starting the salon and the nonprofit, it's just it's overwhelming right and with being a mom and mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. and, you know church and mm -hmm. all that stuff I can't do all of that right so. so when do you air your vlog typically um every Friday I did have a set time until things picked up at the salon it's only okay. me so I can't I don't have a specific time but usually okay. Fridays okay on mm -hmm. Fridays okay mm -hmm. so we've talked about your vlog let's mm -hmm. talk relationship 101 we've talked about the nonprofit okay now let's talk about your cosmetic group you have a group where you give like little yes. uh, 
hints, little compl little things about tips. makeup tips. Mm -hmm. Tips, makeup that's tips. the word I was thinking. Makeup tips. Makeup tips. Yes. Let's talk about that. Yes. Um, before we before we go there, I wanted to um, add to the Let's Talk Relationship 101. Okay. We had an event, actually, mm -hmm. okay. um, on February 5th mm -hmm. of this year. Mm -hmm. And it was actually a charity fundraiser for my nonprofit. Okay. Well, we had a panelist of three men and three women. And when I tell you that thing blew up, it wow. blew up. We had a major turnout and they actually got an encore. The people are asking for them. I had inboxes like, oh my God, I hate we missed it. When are you doing it again? So I had to contact all the panelists and mm -hmm. they're going to actually be back on September 16th. Can you give us a little sample of what y'all talked about at that um, seminar? Well, just there's, a, a, a there's an ongoing PG, little PG sample. <laughs> yes. There's an ongoing um, joke that only the people that were there would know. Mm -hmm. It's called the front porch. Okay. And one of the panelists invited their um, grandparents, their grandmothers, mm -hmm. both of their grandmothers and their aunt, mm -hmm. an older aunt. And they kind of took over the show. Mm -hmm. So um, just say that she don't play about nobody being on her porch. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. We I'll have, have to, to let you go have back. To keep yes. Home. Ms. Yes. Courtney Fuelling and, and find out what exactly the front porch is. Yes, but you we know. talked about everything from um, expectations in mm -hmm. relationships, mm -hmm. um, about the financial aspect, stress aspect of relationship. And it's not just male-female relationships. It's all aspects of relationships, sibling, parental, mm -hmm. um, relationships with your um, boss on your job, oh, okay. with your pastor, okay. a parishioner, all that. So it's, it's not just romantic relationships. No, absolutely oh, okay. not. It's okay. all genres of um, aspects of relationships. Sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. Keep us posted on I the will. next one. I the, will. The date I will. September and all. 16th. And on Facebook, because you are on Facebook, right? Yes, I What's am. What's your Facebook um, page? My, my page, well, I got a couple of different pages, but okay. my name on Facebook, was, which was where you'll probably be able to find all my pages, okay. is Courtney Fluell, and that's F as in Frank, L-U-E-L-L-E-N. Okay. All right. Mm. All right, so you have this page on Facebook as well where you talk about different cosmetic tips. Mm -hmm. You give tips and stuff. Yes. Okay. Yes, I just My eyebrows that. look a mess. We gonna and get I'm, that. I'm, I'm not, that, I don't have a <laughs> gift in doing makeup. That, mm -hmm. That's just one gift I don't have yet. I'm getting better at Good it. Good thing you're naturally beautiful. <laughs> oh, thank you, Courtney. You are too. So are you. But I... I'm not one that like the thick ones. Mm -hmm. I like a natural mm -hmm. look. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I don't do like all this. Why, and I don't wear a whole lot of makeup. Yes. I just like a little lipstick, yes. you know, my little eyelashes. Yes. And all. What kind of tips can you give me? Someone like me that's always on the go, that mm -hmm. don't always have time to run. And hey, my team is, is, is building. I'm, yes. I'm going to have my own makeup artist. Yes. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. So, what kind of tips could you give someone like me, the working mother mm -hmm. that's always on the go mm -hmm. and um, need a little help with my eyebrows? Okay, so, for example, um, y'all don't get too much behind the scenes, but just say that I wasn't all the way ready when we got here, mm -hmm. and I did this face in a matter of five minutes. Mm -hmm. Five minutes. So, um, because I understand the aspect of being a mother, running mm -hmm. and doing all this, everything, mm -hmm. um, all you would have to do is get a good base foundation. Mm -hmm. They have something now called contouring and highlighting. Um, we have a lot, you can go the drastic route and do all that stuff and the um, concealer, mm -hmm. but the main thing that you need is a light powder, mm -hmm. which is for highlighting, mm -hmm. and all you would do is put your base on, mm -hmm. and you would take the highlighting powder, and you would put it, apply it in this area, mm -hmm. and then you would get your blush here, and then you would take your, uh, your darker contour powder right up in here, and you will achieve the look that someone would have taken maybe 30, 45 minutes to achieve. You just need small little, um, small little, those small little tips will give you that enhanced look that, that you're looking for without doing the drastic 50 hours, okay. you know, to do makeup. Okay. Well, if y'all hang tight, we'll be right back. She's going to do a quick tutorial on my eyebrows. Y'all yes. hang tight. <laughs> Don't forget to watch the Dr. Walter Sims show every Sunday morning at 7.30 a.m. Central Standard Time on Fox 34. Welcome back, y'all, to What's Up Wildgrass segment on the Dr. Watcher Sims Show here with Miss Courtney Fuellen. I'm Nalerance Walker Davis, and she is getting ready to do a tutorial on my eyebrows. This is the before look, and she's getting ready to do the after. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay. 
So you, you'll just explain what you're doing, why okay. you're doing it, okay? It's simple. This is a disposable eyelash applicant. Mm -hmm. And what you want to do is you want to comb the brow down as okay. much as pos possible. Actually, brush the brow down as much as possible. It, you know, make sure that it's smooth mm -hmm. on both sides. As she mentioned earlier, she doesn't like the big block thick eyebrows. And as you see, neither do I. So um, what we're going to do is you take the bottom of the, of the brow and you want to line the bottom of the brow. And we'll just start with this side, okay? Take and you line the bottom of the brow. I always start in the center and then I go out to the outer corners. Sorry. And you really shouldn't hold the face when you do it because it's, it, you don't want to put any stress on the skin to eliminate wrinkles over time. And then you want to go and you want to do the same thing across the top. It doesn't take a whole lot. A lot of people put it on way too thick. Okay, as you can see, it's lined. Now what you want to do is go in and fill the brow. You can fill it not too dark with the pencil. And then you want to take your brush, the same application brush that you had earlier, the disposable mm -hmm. one, and you want to take and brush that brow right back down. And as you see, there's still a couple of spaces in there. So, and let me tell you how inexpensive this is. This pencil is 98 cents, okay? 98 cents. Hey, y'all, this is the after look. You like my eyebrows? I know they're on fleek. Listen, thank you for watching today's show here with Courtney Fuellen at Beauty Obsession. I'm Nalance Walker Davis here on What's Up Wagers on the Dr. Walter Sims Show. We'll see you next week. Don't forget to watch the Dr. Walter Sims Show every Sunday morning at 7.30 a.m. Central Standard Time on Fox 34. Are you looking to grow your business? Need someone to capture that special event? Why not let Visual Tellers be your one-stop shop for all of your video and photography needs? We specialize in cinematography, video editing, motion graphics, photography, audio sweetening, and much more. So whether it's a commercial, music video, wedding, or a sweet 16, we've got you covered. Call us today at the number below and let Visual Tellers tell your story. Visual Tellers, where dreams come to life. Don't forget to watch the Dr. Walter Sims Show every Sunday morning at 7.30 a.m. Central Standard Time on Fox 34. We would like to thank our guests for appearing on the Dr. Walter Sims Show this morning. If you would like to advertise with us, become a sponsor, or even be a guest on our show, please contact our office at 205-225-9757 or send an email to the Dr. Walter Sims Show at gmail.com. The doctor, that's D-R, Walter Sims.